dear viewers welcome back to cybrosis so today in this video let me show you how to manage products inside the website module so i have already opened the website module as you know this is the shop where you can find all the products okay so i'm going to create a new product so for that i'm going to e-commerce and here i have the products okay so from here let's create a new product and the name of the product i'm giving it as some roses Okay, roses is the product. I'm marking it as favorite. Okay, so this product is not yet published. Okay, so if you just click on this go to website here, you can see how the product looks like. Okay, so there is nothing fancy over here, just the name of the product and the price. Okay, so what if I add some, you know, variants for the product? Let's see what happens. So if you go to here, you have roses open that and i'm going to make it a storable product and after that let's add an attribute to the product so i'm adding color so this is the color and i'm adding two colors for it which is pink and white so two colors of roses i've added okay so that's the attributes and variants so before when we checked in the website, we didn't find any of these attributes and variants, right? Now here you have this on hand quantity of the product. Okay, so no stock on hand. That's what you can see right now. Okay, so these are the different, um, you know, fields which are available over here. So in the in internal location, on hand quantities, all such things are removed from there. So if you go back, Okay, there is no on-hand quantities. So I'm just adding the attributes and variants. And if you go to the sales section, okay, here you have the optional products. So this optional products are the products which will be visible once you click on the add to cart. Okay, once the product is added to cart, this optional products will be sh uh, shown. So what is this optional product? These products are suggested whenever the customer hits add to cart. That's it. Okay, it's if it's if the product is a computer, then the optional product can be a warranty or a software. Similarly, we have the accessory products. Okay, so when the customer reviews the cart, the accessory product will be showed up. Okay, that's basically a cross sell strategy, and this is an alternative product for the you know product which I'm selling. Okay, so those products show up on the product page itself. Okay, such products will be shown in the product page itself okay so from here uh, I'm, i mean i'm adding an optional product so let the product be cust customized cabinet the optional product is customized cabinet and then you have the accessory product so the accessory product i'm adding it as a whiteboard pen okay and then we have the alternative product so you can add any product which will be displayed in bottom of product pages okay so i'll add basics of furniture creation which is added as the product for the time being i'm going to save it and i'm going to update the quantity as well so currently the on hand quantity will be 10 okay so 10 quantity is there going back to the product and let's go to the website and see how the product looks See, you have two attributes which has been added. Okay, and we have also added the, uh, you know, uh, alternative product, accessory products and all. So if you click on add to cart, the optional product will be available, which is the customized cabinet. Okay, and if you proceed to check out what happens, the accessory product will be there, which is the whiteboard pen, which I've added. Okay, those are the two things which I've already added. Now let's go back to the product over here. So my product was roses. Okay, so this is roses. My product is not yet published. Okay. So we've added the attributes and variants. We've added the upsell and cross sell section. And next we have this e-commerce shop. Okay. So here you have the option to add the website in which this product should be available in. And then you have the categories. So you can choose the categories to which the product belongs to. You have the out of stock message okay even if it's out of stock if you want to continue selling you can check it so i this is already checked okay now i am going to the website and publishing the product so now you can see if 
I proceed to check out and try to buy it, it will be, I'll be able to buy it because even if it's out of stock, you should be able to buy it. Okay, see the payment page and all has come. Okay, now if I try removing it. Okay, so process, I'm opening it. Now, if you go to the same section and remove it. Okay, so I'm putting this thing and here you have this show available quantity only if it's below 15 units and the out of stock message which is sold out. So two things I've added. Okay, one is to show the available quantity, one is to add the out of stock message and the other one is uh, stop selling when it's out of stock. Okay, I'm saving it and let's see. Going to the website there. So you can see only eight units left in stock. So you have added all, I mean, we have already added two units in the cart. Okay, so I'm going to add to cart eight units I've added. Okay, I'm proceeding to check out. So I'm removing this shirt from you. And I'll remove two products and I'm proceeding to check out. So the checkout can be done from here and the payment also can be done from here. So the payment is done, the product is bought by someone. Okay, now the on-hand quantity is reduced. The total quantity was 10, but now it has reduced to 2. If you go back to shop again and search for roses, see this is the roses. Open the product you can see only two units left in stock. So that warning message has come. Okay, how many units are left or not will be shown this. So I'm adding two. Okay, add to cart and I'm continuing the shopping. Proceed to check out. Pay with them. Okay. So we are processing your payment. Please wait, let's see. Now what happened is that our product is out of stock right now. Okay, now let's try to take a look at the product. See, you can see the message which is sold out and right now we don't have the add to cart button. What happened? Because we are out of stock and we can't sell the product. Okay, so this is how easily you can manage the products inside the website module of Odoo 17. So those were the important things which you have to note while you are managing a product inside the website of Odoo. So yeah, guys, that's it. I hope it's clear for you. And thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.